going on, everybody? I uh, watched uh, College Football Live this morning. I know most of you have probably seen it by now or heard about it. Uh, they were talking about the most overrated coaches in college football. And second on that list, and as they noted, it was a small sample size, like 48%. Decided they didn't even want to answer that poll. Uh, the people that were polled. Coaches that were polled. But Nick Saban was second on that list. Of overrated coaches. That is the most idiotic, ludicrous statement that you can make as a coach. That Nick Saban is the most second most overrated coach in college football. Jim Harbaugh. I probably don't agree being at number one, although I do I don't like Jim Harbaugh. I won't say I hate Jim Harbaugh, but I don't like Jim Harbaugh. But I can't deny that he's done a great job pretty much everywhere he's gone. Michigan, Stanford, the 49ers. He took all those programs or organizations and turned them back into winners. And he's doing the same thing in Michigan right now. So I can't deny his coaching abilities. But to say that Nick Saban is overrated <laughs> is the most ridiculous statement that I've ever heard in my life. He's arguably the best college football coach that's ever lived. I just, I don't know how else to put it. You're a fucking idiot if you think Nick Saban is overrated. He is head and shoulders above anybody else in college football, including Jim Harbaugh, including Urban Meyer. I just don't get it. Including Dabo Sweeney, Chris Peterson, you fill in the blank. He's head and shoulders above anybody else. He's lost once to Dabo Sweeney, he's lost to Urban Meyer. But look at all those other games that the Crimson Tides won. Then he won with LSU. But especially Alabama. There's not been a dominant run in college football. Probably in the history of college football. As you see from 2007 to the present day. That's a ridiculous statement to say that Nick Saban is overrated. Not only... And I'll tell you, this is what separates him from everybody else. It's not just the process. It's that the guy doesn't know how to do anything else. Not only does he know how to coach, he knows how to recruit. He knows how to talk to these families of these players on a personal level when he goes out on recruiting trips. He knows how to coach his assistant coaches. He knows how to delegate authority to them. He gets them in the same mindset that he is, that they have one goal, and that's the process to continue to win. And that's what he instills in his coaches when they go out on recruiting trips. That's why Alabama gets all these five stars. That's why they get the pick of whoever they want, because they know how to relate to these coaches, these players and families on a personal level. The opportunity to play at a prestigious university like Alabama. With one of the best college traditions. And college football traditions. Especially. The opportunity to play there. And to play under the best college football coach that's ever lived. And then to, to come out and say he's overrated. That's just a load of horse shit. I don't get it. But he'll prove it again this year. Alabama's going to dominate again this year. When Alabama loses, Nick Saban knows how to retool. He knows how to fix things. He knows what has to be done. He doesn't fall behind the times. He adjusts. That's why his defense has been able to catch up with these spread offenses. 
Yeah, it got a sour taste in our mouth against Clemson last year, but you know what? That just happens. I said it before. I said it after the game. Alabama's defense was on that field for God knows how many plays in that second half for the national title game. They just ran out of gas. They're human. That's why they didn't dominate in the second half. They ran out of gas. But that's going to be few and far between. I can't remember the last time Alabama got blown out. I literally can't remember. I don't think they've gotten blown out. Alabama's in every game they play in. I, I mean, I wouldn't consider the Ohio State playoff victory a blowout. I wouldn't consider the, man, I can't even think of one. The Oklahoma victory they had over us four years ago, that wasn't a blowout. Alabama hasn't been blown out in 10 years. That's how good Nick Saban is. I don't think any other program probably in college football can say that they haven't been blown out. And when I say blown out, I say a 21-point lead. You can argue that, whatever. Alabama hasn't been blown out in Nick Saban's tenure that I can remember. I'm not saying it hasn't happened, but at least in seven or eight years, they have not been defeated by more than 14 points. That's what separates Nick Saban from everybody else. You can argue that all you want, but that's a fact. I'm sick of talking about this. Nick Saban's the greatest coach of all time, and that's all there is to it. Leave your comments below. I'll let you later. Roll Tide to everybody in Alabama Nation. I'm ready to get this season kicked off.